Hey there, welcome to The Healthier Home. On today's episode of Lowering Bedroom EMFs Part 2, I'm going to show you why it's not a good idea to sleep with your phone on and beside you at night. So in Lowering Bedroom EMFs Part 1, we went over electric fields. And we looked at and did a test to show why it's not a great idea to have anything plugged in within an eight foot radius of your bed. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a different EMF. We're gonna be looking at the EMFs that come from our wireless technology. So these are called radio frequency or high frequency fields. And we use a different unit of measurement to check these uh, signals out. So we use something called microwatts per square meter. And the number we're looking to stay below here is 10. So we want to be under 10 microwatts per square meter. Now this is a really tricky number to stay below in most environments because our, we're so saturated in wireless signals. However, any reduction that you can make is going to be beneficial to your body. So to do this measurement, we're going to use this meter here. So this is called an HF59B, super catchy name. And right now I've got a directional antenna on it. So this antenna is going to be picking up whatever is right in front of it, wherever I'm pointing it. So it's gonna make it handy to show what type of a signal strength is coming from a certain location. And what I have over here is my cell phone and it's on airplane mode at the moment. So we're gonna do a reading and see what type of signal strength is coming from this area around my cell phone with airplane mode turned on. Okay, so we're in the one or two microwatts per square meter at the moment. A super nice low level, no problem. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn my phone off airplane mode. So it's gonna be looking for Wi-Fi, it's gonna be looking to connect to Bluetooth, and it's gonna be sending signals out to the cell towers. And we're gonna then measure what the strength of signal coming off our phone is then. So this has an audio component too, so you'll hear the signals coming out, and then I'll also show you what our readings are. Okay, so you can see there, we were getting into the four, five, seven thousand range. I had to change something on the meter there uh, because the signal strength got stronger. So those readings were actually showing us in the thousands. So we were getting into the 7,000 microwatts per square meter. So this is obviously way above that 10 that we like to stay below. Now our phones aren't always constantly sending out signals that strong. It's a little bit more sporadic than that. So what I did was I took a 30 minute log to show you what our exposure is like over a 30 minute time frame from a cell phone. Okay, so here is our data log for the phone and I'll explain a little bit about what the, this is showing us. So every single time you see one of these red lines, these red peaks, that's representing a burst of radio frequency radiation coming off of our phone. And it tells us how strong these bursts are using the numbers on the left and right hand side. So those numbers are our microwatts per square meter measurement. So you can see it's not consistent in when it's bursting out these um, energetic bursts to us. And there's varying levels of strength on how strong these bursts are. So you can see down at the beginning, we've got bursts in the um, two, three, four hundred range and then we get up into the 2000 range and our strongest burst that we got was 4,164 microwatts per square meter. Um, a few of them that were about that strong and many that were well into the thousands. And really remember, we're trying to stay below 10 microwatts per square meter. So as you can see, our phones are emitting some pretty strong RF signals um, sporadically, but constantly in that it's going to be doing that all night. So this is not something that is going to make for a healthy bedroom environment. And distance makes a huge difference as well. So the closer that phone is to you, the stronger the signals that are going to be reaching you. 
So a simple tip for this, switch your phone to airplane mode, and that's gonna drastically lessen the signals that are coming to you all night long. Now, if you need to keep your phone on for whatever reason, there is some tips you can still do to lessen your exposure. So keep your phone as far away from you as possible, maybe even another room, 30 or 40 feet would be awesome, um, but the further away, the better. You can also include in some shielding devices. So this is an example of one. This is called a radio fence, and this is from a website called Less EMF. You can find the link off of the Healthier Home. And what it is, is just a plastic picture frame with this really fine metal mesh inside. And this fine metal mesh acts as a really good shield for radio frequency. Now it's not gonna stop the signal by any means, but it's going to dampen it. It's gonna lessen it as long as you are using it properly. So how it works is you have to put this shield in between the phone and yourself. So think line of sight. If you can see the phone from anywhere without the shield in between, then the signals are gonna be reaching you at full strength. Otherwise, this does a good job of dampening the signal. So that's another great way you can lower your bedroom EMFs. Keep your phone on airplane mode. If you need to have it on for whatever reason, keep it as far away from you as possible and use some shielding devices as well to help. So this is gonna allow you to have a better night's sleep and it's gonna improve the resiliency of your body. So I hope that's a helpful tip. Thanks so much for joining me today. And remember, the power lies with you.